This place is awfully quiet for a siege palace. Such a huge place is spooky without all those people here. They're probably waiting to ambush us. With so few Renans here, I guess this is what it's like when the Danans are expelled and the ruling minority are all that's left. My money's on them using Zoogles to even the odds. I don't even see any Danon guardsmen. The fact that they're not at their stations tells me they really have been driven out. We all swore an oath of loyalty to Lord Dohalim. My fellow guards wouldn't abandon their posts lightly. Speaking of which, where the heck is he? How could this be happening? Any idea where we should go in the main building? Let's try the Lord's Chamber. Worth a shot. You sure about that? From what I hear, that thing can stop even a cannonball. On second thought, let's see if there's a release mechanism somewhere. Kisara, do you have any idea just what Kelzalik might be planning at the palace? It's hard to say. I've never seen him use any powerful arts, and I don't think he's particularly skilled with any weapons either. However... I have noticed him accompanied by something strange from time to time. What kind of strange? I don't know. I couldn't see anything with him, but I could sense something was there. Probably some sort of Zoogle. An invisible Zoogle? We'd better be careful in any case. I'd rather we not find out after it jumps us and tries to rip our throats out. Let's keep our eyes 
on the prize. Let's dispose of the trap. Bring him down! I'm ready for the next battle. Is that some kind of note the Rebels left? Hey, it mentions the release mechanism we're looking for, but... This isn't enough to go on. Done here. Let's move. I'm right behind you, Shion. Look, another note from the rebels. If we combine it with the note we found before, then there should be a key inside a cabinet in the office. Great. Let's see if we can find it.
Barely a blip on our radar. No choice. Now you'll learn. Rising Well then, let's keep moving. Right. This will make us even more formidable. This should be
Be my guest! Now, I'm on a shield! Run. Go for it! Prepare to crumble! Barely a blip on our radar. is a key to the noble room of the castle. A noble what? The room at the northern end of this floor. Maybe the release mechanism is in there. Even if Danons and Renans aren't on completely equal footing here, both sides still cared about each other. And now we have to fight some of those same Renans inside the palace. Don't forget, we're here fighting to keep what makes this realm so special alive. Don't lose hope, Kisora.
choice. Now you'll learn! on the prize. Did that finally get rid of the wall? To think they would hide it in Lord Dohalim's personal quarters. The nerve of these people. They won't get away with it for much longer. That's right. We have to hurry to the Lord's chamber. Let's go. Well, well, if it isn't the slaves and the traitor, I don't remember giving you permission to enter the palace. So it's true. You really are the one behind all this, Kelzalik. I don't remember giving you permission to speak, either. Know your place, slave. Now we see his true colors. Yeah. A despicable excuse for a human being. Though really, I guess that makes him pretty ordinary, huh? Kelzalik, you were Lord Dohalim's most trusted advisor. His closest ally. Why would you betray him? Don't be a fool. I didn't serve him because I wanted to. I expect a mere slave would know, but there are many powerful contenders for the position of Lord. A contest of strength determines the one who will be Lord and undisputed ruler of a realm. There is no choice in the selection. If my master had any ambitions of becoming the Sovereign, I would have gladly served him. But he had no intention of fighting for the crown. Indeed. Can you slaves even imagine how that looked to the rest of us? Enduring the whims of an ambitionless lord, all we could do was wait for the end as we suffered through our humiliation. You want suffering? Try being Dan in for a day. So you plotted against Lord Dohalim in secret. And when my brother found out... And I would do it all again if it meant returning Menancia to its rightful state! A realm where Danans are slaves and Renans their masters. It's the natural order. It's... Enough! Who are you to decide what is natural or rightful, traitor? Nigal. 
My brother. He dreamed of building a world free of suffering. He gave his life for that dream. And all you've managed to build is a lake of death. You. You killed my brother. And now you'll die for it! Slaves are despicable. Your dreams of attaining lordship are no more. Give up, Kelzalik. Attaining lordship? <laughs> Ridiculous. Only those who possess a master core can become a lord. <laughs> what did you think just anyone could do it? But then, 
What were you trying to accomplish with this? Didn't you betray your lord? Yes, that's true. However, there are other lords. Other lords? So you mean... At last, the truth is revealed. Dohalim, where have you been this whole time? Cleaning up. Kelzalik, you've made your last of these. The fruit of Helgen? They can't be. You found my production facility? Correct. And I tore it down. But something still troubles me. It's clear that this is no ordinary fruit. Nor was the equipment used to grow it. You couldn't have done all this without outside assistance. Indeed. Something like this must have come from another realm. Sar, perhaps? You actually expect me to talk now? At this point, the contest for the crown will be over soon enough. And you will finally receive the punishment you deserve for your weakness. I've already received my punishment. <laughs> May this be my final act, as the Lord of Elder Men and Sia. To Mahak Sar, Ganeth Horrors, wherever you think you'll find a suitable lord. Are you alright with this? He killed your brother after all. He did. But then I thought, he's nothing more than one common ordinary Renan. He's not worthy of my time or my anger, right? <sighs> so after everything, was the dream of coexisting just a dream? What is that? Those are the cheers of the brave Danans who overpowered Kelzalik's forces. Wait, they challenged the Renans? Indeed. A militia made up of Danon guardsmen, Renan supporters, and of course, the Gold Dust Cats. Do we have you to thank for bringing them all together? Regardless of what your original motivations were, your dream of coexistence saved countless lives. And now, those people out there are fighting to keep that dream alive. That's something real. Be that as it may, they do so now by their own hands. These people no longer need any lord. Where are you going? To put an end to the crown contest. So long as its madness persists, peace will remain ever out of reach. I cannot allow it to continue. The Crown Contest impacts far more than just the Danans. You're choosing to fight Lenigus and the entire Empire. I am well aware. However, if I wish to keep this dream from dying, then I have little choice in the matter. Besides, it's the least I can do. So, you're gonna go out there and make that dream real on your own? You may be decided on your path, but that doesn't make it any less difficult. Why not walk that road with us? Pardon? You heard me. We're fighting to liberate the Danans. You're fighting for the people of this realm. I'd say we're on the same path, really. It would only make sense for us to walk it together. Danon dissidents side by side with a Renan lord? Not the least intriguing invitation I've received. An invitation which would only be proper courtesy for me to accept. <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. Hey, where'd Kisara go? I don't see her anywhere. 
Maybe she just needed some time alone. A lot's happened. That makes sense. She did just lose her brother, after all. <sighs> we ought to keep moving as well. So long as there are lords who draw breath, we have a mission to complete. Kisara's a big girl. I'm sure she can handle herself. We should hurry on ahead to our next destination. I guess you're right. And it is a lot safer here than it was. What do you think, Dohalim? I am not sure I have the right to say anything as far as Kisara is concerned. Fair enough. Well, I, for one, would like to say goodbye if we get a chance. Let's keep an eye out for her as we leave. What's Kisara going to do now? I'm sure it's complicated for her. Where did Kisara run off to? You don't think she took off after Kelzalik, do you? No. Nagal entrusted her with his dream. She wouldn't do something reckless like that. Right now, I think she just needs time to think. What she does from here on out is up to her. She has to be the one to decide. Hmm.
You all arrived here from Cislodia, yes? In that case, you should depart via the south gate, rather than the one you arrived through.
After all that, Kisara never came back to see us. I'm surprised she slipped away without us noticing. Where would she even go? I hope this place survives. You think the Danins and Renans have a chance of getting along? We didn't really do much to change things around here, did we? This realm had its own walls to overcome. And in the end, it was the people themselves who decided to break them down, without any help from us. I hope they keep going. I really do. Yeah, well, if you say so, I guess. Huh? All right. I leave command of the Gold Dust Cats in your hands. You've got nothing to worry about, Kisara. I'll do your brother proud. Looks like it's time to go. Take good care of Zare for me. All right, Lagil? You've got it. Stay safe, Kisara. Did you come to say goodbye? Actually, I was wondering if you could use another companion. Huh? Well, we certainly don't mind you coming along. We just figured you'd stay behind and help rebuild. These people could use you. I thought much the same thing. However, in the end, something changed my mind. Ever since Miguel died, I've been thinking a lot. About where I went wrong, what I should have done differently. You know, that sort of thing. It's true that our dream of coexistence saved many Danon lives, but we were naive and short-sighted. I was so wrapped up in my idea of how things should be that I didn't see the problems that existed right in front of us. I thought we had been given a utopia, and so I never bothered to look too far past its surface. I chose to be ignorant, and because of that, because of me, my brother... Nagal's death wasn't your fault, Kisara. Perhaps you're right, but in the end, it was me he entrusted this dream to. I learned that nothing in this life is free, or gained without sacrifice. Now that I know that, I'll just have to figure out what else I don't know. So, decided to join us? I have. And hopefully I can continue to protect Elda Menencia from outside the dream world, for the sake of those still inside. And here I thought you joined for an opportunity on my life. In all honesty, I'm grateful to you. I truly am. I don't blame you for what happened. But I must also leave your service. No longer will I be defined by protecting a Renan Lord. From now on, when I fight, I fight to protect my dream. All I ask is that you do your part, that you fight alongside me, not just for those who used to believe in your dream, but for those that still do, Dohalim. I understand. I'm no longer a Lord anyway. Well... This crew just gets bigger and bigger. All right, where to, team? We make for Mahagsar, the Valley of the Four Winds. <laughs>